Buddy Poffin. Me. I mean, I kind of want to go for double Ralts. I can have like... Well, no, I can't do that. Well, no, I could have Ralts, Curlia's, Manaphy, Attacker, right? So I could go for double Ralts here. And we'll get the other thing on the next turn then. Bench that. Manaphy, Attackers. Should maybe go a little bit further, give up Luminian, get a couple waters. Catch active. I can't use Greninja now, I guess, is like the big thing. But that's fine. That's fine. We just need to get Manaphy down. And I have the candy in hand, so I have the possible turn two guardy attack here, to be honest. I maybe shouldn't have attached that energy. I maybe want that in hand. Because if I draw into an Ultra Ball, I don't have a great hand to be able to actually play an Ultra Ball out of, to be honest. Yeah, I don't have a great hand to play Ultra Ball out of here, but. Push the prime sub there, one FPS. Welcome to the rat pack. Got plenty of candy, but we're all out of chocolate. Man, they got the whole they got the whole setup over there, bro. They got the whole freaking squad. Double doof, double fridge. It ain't so. Oh, it's Manaphy though. Okay. Protecting from Okay, I respect it. I respect it. Protecting from the squad. Ooh, I can kill What? What? They're not, they're not retreating the B-Doof? Bro, he's dead, bro. Consider him cooked. Uh, not quite. I haven't cooked him quite yet. Hold up. All right, he's not cooked yet. This can get me Ultra Ball. I don't want to play this. This could get me Ultra Ball. Candy, Ultra Ball, Candy Guardian. But then I don't have a Manaphy to protect my bench. Unless I took the knockout with the Guardi EX, I guess, right? That would work. I could take the knockout with the Guardi EX. They haven't built up any energy off this thing either. Maybe it would work, actually. Ultra Ball TM Evo. Anaphy. I really shouldn't have put that energy on that Ralts, like I was saying. I shouldn't have put that energy there, because that, that makes things a, that made things a little bit more awkward. Um, well, I was thinking Candy the Active here. That's fine. This is McChillin. Yeah, removing that only PD from play is like pretty good here, so I'm definitely down for this. How much HP do I have left? I guess like no matter yeah, my numbers the numbers add up anyways, right? Like no matter what, they were gonna be knocking out my active here. Uh they need the they, they me doing 40 damage to myself doesn't make a difference for the damage overall. Alright, looking good, looking good. Next turn. Um, oh, what are we looking for on this next turn? Like Drifloon. If Drifloon 1 to KO the active would be great. Um, I guess we're not that far from it, actually. In my head, I was like, we're pretty far from that, though. But we're actually not that far from it. It is also possible they 1 to KO my active here, and that would suck. Um, that'd be rough. <laughs> I was just kind of hoping that they wouldn't get there without without B-Barrel and without, with only, without having used Shiver Chill yet. I think it's unlikely they can get up to that. What are they? Six or five? They need five, five. I don't think they can get to the five. Two here. They need two more. I mean, they could get there, of course, but I'm kind of hoping they don't. Of course. Well, they have the counter catcher play. Oh, they're going after my Manaphy? Hmm. Wait, did they not have the KO there? No, not quite, I guess, right? All right, interesting. Um, I mean, that's annoying for sure. I don't really want to Iono them either. I don't really want to Iona them either. Hmm. It's going to be interesting here. Send up the guard world. We'll see if we top deck. Because I need to get the energy off here probably. I mean, boss K1, this would be pretty good. That could be a play. Counter catcher not available. Going to get rid of the psychic first. See what we draw. And then we'll go from there. And give up the counter catcher. I got the loon for three, but I can't get rid of this energy. Uh, I, mean, I could I own one draw into a way to discard an energy, I guess. Hmm. Currently only doing 180 though. So I could bench it with the bravery charm. I own into a way into an energy and a way to discard an energy. Definitely possible. I guess that's probably the best play here. 
I don't know. If not, I could just punch it with the Guardi, to be honest. I think I'd be okay with that. I mean, they're getting five cards here, which is kind of annoying. I got Curlia. Right, I can Curlia away the Drachi if I draw into Super Rod, then... Yeah, Curlia away the Drachi. Draw into Super Rod. That's well for her. Oh! Oh, I could Greninja! Greninja the energy. Let's go. All right, so I got the knockout. They will get to use Greninja if they want on their turn, though. I think I'm okay with that for how this is uh, going. I mean, they'll take out double Curlias, but I'll solve Greninja plus a Curlia for draw power, solve the Iono. My Drifloon would be alive then too if they go for double Curlias. Yeah, that's like another thing as well. If they go for double Curlias, my Drifloon just survives and I can use it to attack again. <clears throat> yeah, obviously not having Mana Fear is like, great, but we'll take it. Take this result. Super off for next turn, great, that's good. Oh, we got some good options for next turn then. Be in an okay spot. Mm. We don't really play. Well, I play a collapse actually. That's not true. I was gonna say we don't really have play a way to. Jeez, chill. Uh oh. Well, what can they do with that? The prime catcher's not too scary here. Prime catcher, prime catcher is like scary at the end of the game with like uh, iron hands. But what about flutter in this deck? I mean, it's good against loss on decks. But I don't know how good loss on decks are, or if you needed to beat them. I have Jirachi in here currently, which is also good against loss on decks because like Sableye is a pretty big threat, but. There's no clue what's uh, what's necessary for those matchups. Okay, they put another Chi and Pao in play, which is interesting. Does that mean they're going to go after my Guardi here? That would be like terrible, right? Putting Chi, putting Chi and Pao in play in general seems pretty terrible, to be honest. Yeah, putting Chi and Pao in play in, in general seems pretty terrible. Because like you're just giving me a two prize Pokemon. So I can go KO active, KO two prizer. They're only getting two prizes this turn, so I can like KO with Guardi. Oh, I don't really want to KO with Guardi X. I can KO their active with uh, Drifloon, though. All right, they KO'd my active, but I'm also fine with that. Yeah, this is just like, this is like fine with me. I'm 100% fine with all everything that's happening right now. I'm going to go, I, yeah, they're cooked. They're cooked. Honestly, they're chalked. It's chalked. Um, so we're just going to KO that next turn. Okay, so. Get the energy off the Guardi, I guess. Rod, Luminian, Manaphy, Drifloon. Seems good. That's ball. Oops. Manaphy. <laughs> I messed that up. Could've got real bad. All right. Bunch that. And then just play the Iona. Oh, I should get this energy out of the deck, right? Well, maybe I should just draw with concealed cards then. Maybe I should Maybe I should have done that first then. I don't know. I was like, I wasn't sure how I want to actually like do that. Um, you should look for Screamtail first. Um, I don't know. I didn't really want to use my, well, I guess that involved me using my cape. I don't know if I'm really that concerned with using Screamtail here, to be honest. The Screamtail seems okay. I don't know. I could take it away. Their draw power almost seems better, but I guess they're in such a bad spot anyways. I don't know if it really matters. Dude. They're just cooked. They're absolutely done if i did go the oh no, i guess screamtail does just straight up KO that thing yeah maybe we should have gone with the screamtail actually you might have been right actually i could have played for screamtail there yeah i would have been fine with that the more i'm thinking about it because yeah, it's still one prizer to a two prizer but yeah even though they get to draw two cards off greninja like, even though they get two cards drawn off greninja this doesn't help them enough right there's no way it helps them enough yeah they're, they're, i guess they're, they're being more cooked that way oh shoot they do have manaphy i'm getting gaslit out here what the heck, bro? How could you do this? I was, yeah, definitely not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Pretty misinformation. <laughs> yeah, what is this misinformation, bro? What the heck? Yo, they're kind of cooking over here, though. Kind of cooking out here. Like, at least KO my Drifloon. They have that going for them. Maybe I should have KO'd with Guardi, actually. The more I think about it, the more I like the idea of KOing with Guardi. Because if I KO with Guardi, it also... Like, they could have KO'd with Manaphy here. They could still KO here with Manaphy. But they don't want to leave a 2 prize in their active. If I KO with the Guardi EX, they have to leave a 2 prize in their active. I guess the thing with that, though, is I did have a Guardi EX prize. Which, if I had known that, I wouldn't have done that. Because who knows if I can get my other Guardi EX. 
Also, it's possible I prize Guardi X and Super Rod. So, yeah, here comes the Rain Splash. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have kept with Guardi X there, to be honest. But. So, this turn we're looking for. Well, we can't counter catch her, actually. Um, I want to KO this, but I have to KO this with. I, mean, I could lose to like Prime Catcher next turn, like Prime Catcher Superior, right? They could have Prime Catcher Superior and I lose to that. Yikes. I could try and collapse this away, I guess, if I whiff. <clears throat> I need boss. Minion doesn't work. Um, yikes. I'm actually a little bit scared, to be honest. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared here. Um,. They have two cologne in the hand. Wait, do they actually? No memes. Let me just play Buddy Poffer real fast and take account of what's in the deck. Boss is in there. <clears throat> One energy and the tools I would need are in there as well. Is Super Rod in there? Super Rod is. So I maybe want to set up like towards another guard for instead, to be honest. The collapse is in there as well. So I, might, I can maybe play for the collapse play. All right. We're five minute away. Minion. Okay, I got the collapse play now. I could even like load up Screamtail, push Screamtail to the active, knock out the mana fee, collapse away the guard EX, right? Yeah, I could do that. Actually, that's probably the play. I could also get dual boss here off of this refinement. Um, oh, I got the boss, but no tool. I do something with that though. I got boss. Can't do enough damage, all right. Oh, I could get there though. Hang on, we can do this. Though I'd want the counter catcher to stick around if I'm going with the other line. Other counter catcher's gone. I'd have boss for next turn. But I have scream tail. I have second super rod left. I don't know if I, I could have prized the second super rod to be honest. No, I think it was in there. Um, all right, we can get rid of that, I think. We can check also, right? Yeah, it's in there. Okay. I also could play Nest Ball, I guess, there as well. I can go Scream Tail, Boss KO, B Doof, right? And I can get rid of the my guard EX so they don't have a way to win with Prime Catcher, right? That makes the most sense to me. I just like load this thing up fully. Like why not, right? Seems fine to me. Dude, I already know someone said it in... Oh, wait. Now I have no gust effects left. But that's fine. Because I can KO anything when in the active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, unless I'm tripping. Can Scream Tail only... <clears throat> no, it can hit the active, right? <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait a second. All right. I think we're okay. We're okay. All right. We should be good here. I don't think I have enough draw power to like make any big play happen, though. No. They were cooking them. Yeah, the Prime Catcher, Prime Catcher Greninja thing play would be possible if, if, um, if what, if something, if my opponent had B-Barrel in play, but they don't have B-Barrel, so, I mean, if they still get there without B-Barrel, I mean, they got me then. All right, chat, one last, ch one last chance to get in on the giveaway. Final giveaway, final Temple Forces ETB giveaway, exclamation point ticket in the chat. As always, max luck for the subs. So if you're sitting on a prime, you want to put it to work. Now's the time. I'm going to run it after this uh, game is over. I think we're going to have game here. I think we win here for sure. Arvin, Cape, Guardi EX, Nest Ball, Drift Loon, Cooked. Should be a dub. Should be a dub. The Garvin? Yeah, the Garvin. <laughs> Let's go. 
Garvin. You know, man. You know. You know about that Garvin. All right. Yeah, I think we got it right here, right? Yeah, we should be good. Legendary Garvin deck. Dude, this honestly feels like very similar to just like Guardi in general. Um, it honestly feels like very similar to just like Guardi from last form. It's worse for sure. Not having Shiny Arcana and like access to reversals is definitely worse. And it's way more fragile to stuff like Vacuum. Um, oh shoot. No, I didn't misplay. Oops. I put one too many there though. <clears throat> for a second, I was like, oh no. <laughs> but no, we're good. We're good. We only need four. And they are cooked. And with this KO, that's going to do it for me for the stream for tonight. Chat, how's the lack of level ball feel? Uh, worse. Yeah, the, I mean, it's just a worse Guardi deck. Like, other Guardi deck was more powerful for sure. But it just won't survive. It survived rotation for sure.